Now, as you might imagine, this is very much a hot button issue. On one side, there is the folks that say this is our tradition. This is what this team has been called for over a century. They wanted the name Indians to stay. But for others, they wanted a change. That change now we know is coming in 2022. January Keaton hit the streets of Cleveland today to find out what fans of Northeast Ohio, the Cleveland Indians, and our city have to say about this new announced change. Grandma. I'm a Cleveland baseball fan. <gasps> yeah, because you know what you just called them. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you stop that. Stop that. It's Cleveland Guardians, Grandma. The Guardians. Woo! That's right, Marty Garrell. They're the Guardians now. Marty and lots of other Cleveland fans still adjusting to the change. I grew up with it. I'm so used to it. I like to keep things the way they are. I get those that are tied to it, and you know, and I am. There's always going to be a part of my heart with it. it you know, just as the former name of of progressive field, right? You want to call it the Jake, things like that, right? In the dictionary, the word guardian means a person who guards, protects, or preserves. Our fan base fiercely protective and loyal, unlike any other. With the heritage here and, you know, the, you know, Cleveland against the world mentality, it fits. Despite the history tied to the name Indians, Guardians is being applauded by most I talk to today. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great way to pay tribute to the bridge. I love the Guardians of the Bridge, so I thought that was really awesome. Jennifer Andrews works at Lincoln Park Pub in Tremont and took down its Indians memorabilia long before the name change. I took it down. I've just always kind of felt it's a little disrespectful to you know, the heritage of Native Americans. If they kept their name, maybe people would get offended by that, that are that race of people. Now that our beloved baseball team is the Cleveland Guardians, will Indians be a name hard to give up? Like the Jake, the Q, or remember the Convocation Center? Only time will tell. <laughs> now, the name, I said the Convocation Center. I know y'all are like, whoa, forgot about that. That used to be the Woolstein, remember? Now, the name change doesn't go into effect until the end of baseball season, so that gives you three months to mourn and be sad and say goodbye to the name, the Cleveland Indians, Jay. Yeah, January, there are a lot of folks that still call Progressive Field the Jake. Some habits die hard. Yes, it is. I imagine. I imagine we'll hear the words Cleveland Indians come out of the mouths of folks for a long time to come. <laughs> These habits tend you know to take it. a long time to change. January Keaton live they on do. What's New January. Thank you very much. <laughs>